Okay, guys, this is a podcast on the test that we did on heat transfer and houses. And I'm just going to run through and give you the correct answers. And if there's any issues that you have where you don't understand uh, and you didn't get the marks because you genuinely didn't understand what you needed to say as opposed to maybe not learning it well enough, then please do make a note of it, maybe highlight it. And I'm going to take these back in and any points that you've highlighted or put an asterisk next to a star, I will know that you need further explanation on. So question one uh, was really more of a just, uh, you've obviously got these things listed here for the uh, three types of heat transfer, convection, conduction, and radiation. And we need to know when these will occur and how they occur, okay? And so for each of these questions, uh, it's asking, and this is the way it's gonna be in the exam, it's giving you a feature of the saucepan and it's asking you, for example, uh, in this first question, why they're like that. So explain why copper is used on the base of the pan and plastic is used to coat the metal handle. Well, we want the heat to transfer to the liquid, don't we, to the water. So we would like a good conductor of heat and metals are conductors. Now, this was out of three marks. The first mark was for saying that the metal is a good conductor of heat, so it conducts heat from the flames to the water. The second mark was to say that we don't want the heat to be conducted into the handle because we want to better hold it and so we don't want it to get too hot. So plastic is a good insulator and a poor conductor. Use the word insulator though. And the third mark here was mentioning why metals are a good conductor. And that is that they have free electrons which are able to transfer the energy uh, along the solid metal and the plastic doesn't. So, going on to the next question here. Uh, holding uh, a metal bar and a plastic ruler, which do you know, what do you notice and explain why? Now, it was important here to mention that the reason that, most of you got that the metal bar would feel colder, but the reason it feels colder is because it's taking the heat, it's conducting the heat away from your hand. Heat will always travel from warmer to colder. And the reason it feels cold is that the, the heat from your hand is able to travel. And so if it's able to travel, you're losing it. And if you're losing it, it feels cold. With a plastic ruler, because it's a good insulator and a poor conductor, the heat doesn't actually leave your hand because it hasn't got a vehicle to, to let it travel. The plastic is a good insulator. And so you would notice that the metal bar felt cooler. And the reason why is because metals conduct and plastics don't, and the conducting of the heat away from your hand is the reason it feels cold. And once again, we're mentioning that metals have free electrons that are free to move and therefore transfer the energy, the heat. Okay. Four, a Yorkshire pudding is cooked in the hottest part of the oven. Would you cook it on a high or low shelf? Give a reason for your answer. Well, this was another three marker, and most people got that you would put it at the high part of the oven because warm air rises and it would set up convection currents so that hot air would rise from the top and that would be the hottest part of the oven. The last mark though here was to mention that the reason that the air rises is because warm air is less dense than cold air. And remember, if we just take this as an example, um, when you have air which is say at room temperature, the particles, remember there's no bonds between the particles in a gas, but the particles might be that far apart and they are bumping into each other a fair amount and they're creating a certain volume. If you heat them though, they are suddenly, they've got much more kinetic energy and they are banging into each other harder and a bit like if you had a group of people in a crowd all uh, suddenly starting to shoulder guard each other. The actual uh, end product is that here, these particles were more dense, but look how they spread out into a bigger area. And so this is less dense, and therefore, uh, being less dense, they rise and go to the top of the oven. So you needed another mark for saying that warm air is less dense than the cooler air. So, next question. What type of substance are good heat conductors. Why? Why isn't wood a heat conductor? Well, you've got a mark here for saying metals are good conductors. 
and for saying that they have free electrons, again, uh, that are able to transfer the energy, the heat, uh, along their particles. Why is wood a good heat conductor? It's a good insulator because it doesn't have these free electrons. And m hardly anybody mentioned these free electrons. And so please remember that metals have these. And in terms of, uh, remember, a metal is a lattice like that. It's because it's a solid, it's an irregular lattice. And there's bonds between these particles. But the thing to remember is that metals have these free electrons which are able to move around and therefore they can transfer the energy uh, to uh, along their length uh, and wood for example doesn't have that okay so that is the first question uh, and you make sure you've got all those points uh, and if you haven't got any because you don't understand it please make sure you email me and let me know what it is you don't understand Okay.